components of scratch window when scratch starts you will see a window as given below let's learn about the different components of the scratch window sprite it is a character in scratch which acts on the stage an orange cat is the default sprite script it is defined as one or a set of blocks that begins with a hard block title bar it is present at the top of the scratch window it shows scratch written on the left the right side of the title bar has the three control buttons minimize maximize or restore and close block menu it displays the categories of blocks based on their functions and uses there are mainly 10 types of blocks available in scratch 3 backdrop it is the background of the stage stage area it is a place where you will see all the action happening coding area it is a place where you drag blocks and join them to create your code sprite info pane it shows all the details of sprites and backdrops used in a project you can add delete see the name and location increase and decrease the size of a sprite similarly you can add or change the backdrop add extension it takes us to menus of extension from where we can add extra blocks to the code area go button it is the green flag and when you click on it it runs a scratch program stop button it is the red button that on clicking stops the running scratch program menu bar it contains options and commands related to the projects that you create in scratch the options are file edit tutorials and name of the scratch project tabs it has mainly three tabs code tab It contains block categories and the list of blocks in a category. Some block categories are motion, looks, sound, pen, events, control, sensing, operators, variables and my blocks. Each block performs a task in a project. Costumes tab. In this tab, you can add and make changes to the appearance of the sprites and backdrops. Sounds tab. In this tab you can add and make changes to the sounds of the sprite and backdrop. 